All right, how's everybody doing today? We're doing pretty good. Should be able to hear me pretty good. Okay, so let me uh, adjust this little doohickey thing. So it's, uh, what are we, Bounty 29? Got some new targets, 94, 105. There's a couple different versions of the 94. I found a different one. So uh, let me get this doohickey thing going. Uh, let me turn this on. Okay, so we'll deal with that for a second. And there's some uh, new stuff on there. So if you guys know what the fuck that is and how to add it, it looks like the walls are double. Um, appears that you have to uh, remove some of your walls or whatever to get it to expand right because they take up twice as much space. Uh, if anybody has more details about that that they want to share, go ahead because I just got on and found out about it. So I jumped right on to do... The kick side base bounties because those are only good for 24 hours. So you got to watch this video quick As you can see look at those walls. They're super fucking thick. Look at that double the size And then what is this stuff? What is this? Oh, yeah, you can't see that good Anyways, what is that? Huh? Those are like mountains you can add mountains. Maybe it's an upgrade I don't know like I said, I just saw it. I'll figure it out but if you guys have that information you want to share it because Maybe there's a lot of people out there that don't know it. Let them know. Leave a comment down below. This way they'll know. And if I haven't figured it out by then, I really will appreciate it as well. So thank you guys in advance. But so far, the 94 is a easy target. I'm kind of thinking, though, the, the 105 might be an easier target. But, you know, one thing at a time, right? So I'm just kind of... Seeing what they're doing already, you know, got to deal with the upgraded stuff. It's too bad I don't have mine upgraded yet, but, you know, life goes on. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Tony, for the follow. But, you know, like I said, this one's still pretty easy, the Gorgons. There's some, a lot of new weapons. Someone asked, you know, if they need to... Uh, Upgrade to OP-12. Well, yeah, I would recommend to do that and then also I'd recommend to get the new weapons uh, Hopefully they're stronger at first glance. I thought they were but I didn't get the chance to you know study them too much and last time I was all hype about the UAV turret and You know I did a video about it and then boom within like two hours of it coming out they nerfed it so I don't know how those weapons are going to be, but if you're doing the bounty, I would definitely do it for those turrets because you got to get the newer ones in. Plus, with the dock being able to get upgraded now, as I mentioned before, I know there was a lot of people sending me messages saying, like, you know, you can't build a Hammer MK2 uh, with, uh, you know, it being 60,000 tons or 200, whatever, yeah, 60, I don't know, so, uh, 60,000 each one. Because of the weight limit, well, now the weight limit has been lifted. So as you can tell, this thing is over with. It's pretty easy. So now you can have five Punishers. And of course, you know, that's going to go in with the Conquer Fleets. So I would definitely recommend to get those uh, new turrets. And unfortunately, you got to hit the whole target. But check out these freaking mountains. What is going on with that? I don't know what to think. So what do you guys think? I just found out. I'll be thinking about it. If you guys have an opinion about the mountains or how the new OP-12 looks, leave some comments, you know, below. And again, that one was the 94 targets. Now we're going to go to the 105. Like I said, it's pretty easy. Um, Fallout guy, you know, got a little party dancing going on. See, now this is a weird base. So here's another little tip. Are we going to start doing bases like this where you have two openings at either end to help, especially when they remove that rule about prepping? Is this going to make the game a little more difficult? Are they thinking about making it where you have to 100% somebody or damn near close to it? Because then having openings at two ends would change the dynamics of the, of the game. And then how important are those OP-12 going to be? Is it going to still be as important? Again, you know, let me know your thoughts. Leave your comments uh, below. 
just looking around. And I see a couple new weapons, but I don't know how they have them arranged. Just one of them seems kind of like offset or, huh, it's not showing it again. Yeah, see one of them, hmm. I don't know, what do you guys think about the new uh, turrets that are out? And also, what do you guys think about that? When the update first came, you could use your base parts to upgrade your OP. What happened? I missed it. Found out, missed it. I was like, ah, oh, had a friend tell me, and I missed it. So what is up with that? A lot of people got it. Is Kickside going to balance it? Are they going to help us out, give us the ability to get to OP 12 easier so we can compete with uh, other bases? What are your guys' thought about that? But see, what I was trying to do is get my subjugators to hit that turret over there, which they, they do a little bit, so that did help out. But eventually, I'm going to have to go and, you know, run over there. So this is a slightly different uh, bounty. See how they're hitting it going over there? So that's kind of cool. But I also think, though, if I had, you know, five Warhounds, then I could have sent three to the southern part of this and then two to the upper part at the same time. So that would have been an easy split. That's what I got. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about all that. Like and subscribe and all that goodies. Yeah, normally I got like music and stuff, but I just want to get this out quickly. Mm, it's getting warm. But don't forget, like I said before, if you guys know it, that's great, you know, but, um, Kickside base only lasts 24 hours. Somebody also mentioned too, I don't know if they're going to watch or see it, but if you, uh, if people want to know like what the timer is for the fraction, because you can only change it once every 30 days, and they want Kickside to do it, well, if you guys are into this channel, definitely got to talk to me. Check our pages out. Check my channel. Ask me. Send messages to me or anyone that's on our page. Because what I do, and if you, if you have a computer, this is important, you have a computer, it's got to have some sort of Microsoft on it, uh, maybe even Apple, or if you use Google. On those platforms, there's Google Assistant, so you go on your calendar, you, you talk to the calendar assistant or Google Assistant, you tell them, you know, hey, you know, on this date, fraction change to this, remind me 30 days from now. And then also, whenever you want, you just say, hey, Google, when does my fraction reminder kick in? You know, and it'll tell you. Or you can use uh, Alexa, which is one, which is, I believe, part of Amazon. Lexus, I think it's still also part of uh, Amazon. Or, you know, I already said Google since. What's the other one? Um, my personal favorite, if you use Microsoft, Cortana. Those are all virtual assistants that you can use. And you can use these assistants for many other things. But thank you guys so much. That's what I have. Hope you enjoyed that. You're going to see a little ending. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Apparently someone hit the target and then left. Screwed up my blitz. But whatever. I mean, seriously. What the flip ever. And as you know, the kick side bases are worth more. Like I said, this is coming to an end. There's the ending. You guys have been fantastic. So I will see you guys next time. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching.